leaf have a side vine growing. Mm, that looks good. You're eating the weeds for me. Thank you. You're a good guy. Bunny Bunny came with the property here when we purchased it a couple of years ago and I think we, he was a domestic rabbit that the previous owners may have let go on the property and he just kind of hangs around and does his thing here. Doesn't really bother our garden, just kind of keeps watch for us. Hi. You ready to go get some vegetables? Yes. We're going to have customers coming soon. So we need to pick our vegetables, get ready for them to pick up. Long bean first? Sure. Let's go see the long beans. How do we decide which long beans to take first? My hop is an apron. Well, the best time, the best time to harvest long bean is when they grow almost full size, almost full size, and the bean seed still not uh, popping up. And if you squeeze the bean a little bit, it's still hard. I know usually in supermarket, they harvest the long bean very early, much earlier than this, so the long bean always look very skinny. The reason for that, they have to pick the long bean earlier because they want the bean to be able to uh, keep the shape, keep the color for a longer time, you know, from harvest to transportation to the storage. They're probably a couple weeks before you can actually buy them in the supermarket. But for us, we harvest the bean fresh and we eat it as soon as possible. So it's better harvest the bean when it grows uh, bigger like this. At this time, it has the best flavor and texture. Good morning, Amelia. Good morning. You helping Mama today? Yeah, help me to put in the cart. Do you have, oh, why are you holding a laser? Please, I don't like laser. Don't worry, he's harmless. Except for his bite. It's not like he actually wants to bite me. I mean, he won't bite me. Let's see the lizard. Hello. Come on, lizard girl. Picking all Wait. the good ones? Pick up all the big one. Are you ready? To Aren't all of them big? You don't want to wait them to get too old. Not all of them. Like these are good enough. They're long beans. They're already. Oh, you're talking about fat. That enough. that one's still skinny. You see that? I know. Still need to grow here. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful flowers. Mhm. Mm I wish I had. I wish I had a fake flower like that flower. Why do you want a fake flower when you have a real flower? Oh yeah. A whole garden. Full of vegetables. Mm -hmm. The flowers turn into vegetables. Yeah. Would you stop puffing your thing out? Ooh. Do you think the subscribers would like to see his thing? Boop, boop. Ah! You got the cart, Amelia. The cart? I do not like fuzzy things. What? What fuzzy thing? Fuzzy. Fuzzy? Something was just buzzing around my head. Maybe bees? Our bean fruiting. Is that a lizard or? Reaching the top. So we probably still have about a week before the first batch of fruiting finish. Fruiting? Mm hmm You see, I'm picking the stem. If I don't see flower here, I will pick the whole stem. Because this stem, they will consume nutrients if we keep them on the plant. If I see flower buds here, I will just take the bean off. Stop it, you're tickling. Oh, I cut the leaf again. Oh man. Oh man, it's okay. I have so many leaves. Reaching the top. Don't forget the card, I mean, yeah. Oh! It's 
So when it after it slows down like that, we're what a couple weeks in, two three weeks in. We already have it about three weeks. Now mm. this is the last week. I think at the end of next week, one more week, it will Ooh, be really not much left. At that point, we'll take the plants down and, and yes. replace them with new plants. Yes. Here, Amina, can you put it? Ooh. Are you gonna are you gonna start the next plants in the garden before you take these plants down? I already have uh, a section over there me. already climbing on the trellis. Something buzzy touched my ear. Ah, there's so something buzzy on my face. So I think they will start fruiting next week. So we will still having long bean. And now some of the gardeners, after they have the first batch of fruiting, they will still keep the vines because they will grow some side branches out big here and let them keep fruiting. I don't usually do that because the old plant with many old leaves, if, if they grow too long in the garden, they will more likely to have more bugs and disease. Even though they still can fruit, but the fruiting will not as good as the first batch. So you're better off just starting multiple sets of plants so you can replace them, right? Correct. They grow very fast. A plant is following you, Mom. Hmm? How often do you start the seeds for the beans? If you want to have keep having long bean, then probably every four weeks. I have a lot of people ask how we control the aphid, how we control the bugs. It's very important that you have fast turnover for your garden. Because the longer you keep your plant in your garden, especially like um, long bean, they very easy to get aphid. So if you have fast turnover, you will be less likely to have serious aphid problem. Already get happy. Also, the green long bean also still pretty good. But you know, it's the end of the season, reaching the end. I'm not, I don't blame them, you know. Right, it's not the plant's fault, they're just doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Two weeks ago, it was very heavy fruiting. We could barely, barely catch up. We have to pick up every day. Yeah, the green variety is still pretty good. It's yeah. another good reason you want to stagger your starts, right? Don't, don't mm -hmm. start all your beans at the same time. Mm -hmm. Start them in different batches, and then you'll have peak fruiting at different times. Yes. Um, let's pick some eggplant. Eggplant, we also have a lot of order for Chinese eggplant. And we're having the second batch of fruiting here. They're doing pretty well. Extra long eggplant. Wow, look at this. <laughs> and then look at this fruit. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's more here, new fruit flowers. Very productive. We have somebody here. This is a round belly. Round belly? Mm -hmm. I got a round belly. It's kind of a, a pear shape. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The bird are quite too long and two mm -hmm. of them on one plant. They're more growing up here. I really thought it was the other. I sent a text message. Fuzzy melon. It started to have the, the white powder on it because it's getting close to maturing.
okra. I need to get picked every day. Honey. Why weak? The plant is taller than me. You're getting lost in the okra. Mm hmm. Okra forest. At least you don't have to bend over to pick it. Well, but the the leaves are pokey. It's really itchy. Last time I was able to be careful to not let it rub on my skin too much, but now it's taller than me. I have no choice. To pick a okra every day. Now the season, so it basically grow much bigger every day. I pick them this time. I pick them younger. Last time they they said they I picked them too old, but actually they were not old. I can break one for you. There's no fiber in there. But if a customer take home and then keep in the refrigerator for days before they eat it they will get old for sure <laughs> that's why try to eat them as soon as possible when they're fresh trust me when it grow very the plants are very healthy and strong the fruit also very big look at the color see that how pretty love the purple color mm-hmm this is why it's called Chami. This is uh, the older variety we have, but we don't have it anymore. This one have a hole because it reached the soil, touched the soil. It has a hole because something ate it, or yeah, some, hole because something make it, something make a hole and it eat it. Honey, the fresh young eggplants are very delicious. The worms know about it. We have a gardener ask me, hey, do you have a um, vegetable that bugs don't eat, but it tastes delicious? I said, no. If the vegetable tastes delicious, the bugs, they live in the garden all the time. They know better than us. So you want something really delicious, but no bugs eating them? almost impossible unless the vegetable have very strange flavor like a onion garlic cilantro garlic things like that there will be less bugs and worms problem because the flavor kind of strange what you building there honey come on let's show our audience our sweet potato green wall look at that halfway on the trellis and I see that they start to grow some side vine already. Each leaf have a side vine growing. The side vine will be what we're gonna pick later for harvest. Please. See that? How pretty? See the color? Looks nice, honey. I know. Make me want to take a bite. I dare you. Yeah, it's very purple and very young. Look very delicious. But we have a, a wall of fuzzy melon. We have a down here. I think somebody ordered a fuzzy melon. I'm gonna pick one. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, it's heavy. At least four pounds. Very juicy, I'm sure. Nice. Mm hmm. Peel it, chop it up, stir fry, or put it in the soup. Delicious. <sighs> Let's see, we have as more. That was fruit down there, but on the trellis, we're having more fruit. Here at least uh, 10 fuzzy melon in this section, small section. That's the other end, doesn't have a lot. This top early, the bottle guard, 
We don't have it for sale now, but maybe we'll get more in the future. Maybe we'll get more? Yeah. We sold out. A lot of people like it. This is mm -hmm. top early. Very early maturing and uh, a lot of fruit. The shape is very long and skinny. Here we go. We need to pack, get ready. 